Hi, this is Alexandra at Beadaholic, here to show you how to wire wrap a flower using the Beadsmith wooden mandrel set. So here's a necklace that I made using the technique that I'm going to show you. And this has two different sizes of flowers wire wrapped together. I'll also show you that technique as well. So you can see that I've come up with some various sizes of the flowers using some different gauges and colors of wire just to show you um, how versatile this technique is using this mandrel set, which ranges in size and it's very handy how it's labeled up here. For other tools, we'll be using some flush cutters and some chain nose pliers. So to begin, let me bring in my ruler and we're gonna go ahead and make a size 3 8 inch flower. And I'm going to cut an a foot of wire, 26 gauge wire to begin. Wire's a little bit caught here. There we go. So for this thinner gauge wire, I find a foot works really well. Now if you're doing larger sizes, probably a foot and a half is what you're gonna wanna use. So here's the process. We're gonna take about an inch of wire as a tail and I'm pinching that down onto my mandrel using my thumb. Next, I'm gonna coil the wire around the mandrel six times. And I'm choosing six as my chosen number of petals. I find that it works to use five to eight, depending on the style that you're looking for. So let me count one, two, three, four, five. And that should be six. So I've got my wire coiled and I'm gonna pull it off of the mandrel. And next I'm going to take and just kind of pinch those coils together and with one tail of my wire I'm going to coil around the center of all of my loops. And I'm just going to come around once and barely twice and I'm going to clip the wire right as it comes around and tuck that tail in with my pliers. Then I'm gonna take my other tail and do the same thing in the opposite direction, coiling around just once and barely twice and clipping. Tucking that tail. I may have end up, ended up with five loops. Let's see what I've got here. What I'm gonna do is take the endmost loop on one side and pull it out. And then I'm gonna find the endmost loop on the other side. Indeed, I do have five loops, but I still wanna demonstrate because it all works the same way. So I'm bringing my loops around to fashion them so that they're about equally spaced. And you'll see what I have here. It looks a bit like an atom with electrons rotating around it, like so. Now I'm gonna take my flat chain nose pliers and I'm gripping toward the inside of one of these petals and I'm rotating the pedal clockwise and flattening it out to the side. Then I'm gonna move over to the next pedal up and curve that one in the same fashion by gripping from behind my previous pedal and curving it out to the side. And little by little, I'm, I'm coming around and just bending those pedals to flatten them out, headed in the same direction Fourth one here, curving around, and my fifth petal. And you'll see it's created a flattened flower. Now what I can do is just squeeze gently on the center to really flatten those out further. And it's that simple. So what you've got is a little wire wrapped core in the middle with rotating petals emanating outward. And the next thing I wanna show you is how to combine them. So this uses 22 gauge wire for the larger size, 26 for the smaller, and I'm gonna overlay them onto each other. And you can see what that does is, it's kind of forgiving. So even though my shapes aren't perfect, once I overlay the flowers, they really come together nicely. So actually I have a scrabble wire here that's gonna be perfect. It's about four inches, which is a little more than I'll need. 
and I'm going to curve that into a bit of a hook, like so. And I'm going to hook that wire through the center of my little flower so that it catches in that middle wrapped uh, core portion. And then I'm going to overlay my other larger flower in the same way so that the two wires come in between the petals and I'll be able to lock the two by coiling the wires through that central core area. And again, it doesn't need to be perfect because the way that the wires overlay each other, you really don't see the wire work so much. You kind of see the bigger picture. So I'm just pulling those wires taut and I'm going to continue working the wire through and around to lock those together. And once I feel like I have enough coils that it's nice and secure, I will clip and tuck them. And the way they fit together, it's, it's sort of like a cage, so it really uh, works well to just tuck them in where they won't snag on anything. So I'm clipping and tucking my wire into the center of the wire work. Give that a final squeeze. And there I have my little overlaid petals. And you can adjust them as you, as you see fit. So that's the general idea. And this is also kind of neat to play with the idea of mixing metals. For instance, you could put um, white on rose or gold on silver. There's lots of um, different ways to work with this. So I was really excited to come up with that design. I also wanted to make mention that this dowel set is great for use in creating wrapped wire frames as well. So these two larger sizes would be great for this sort of technique, which we also have a video for on how to create a wrapped wire frame. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And this is the technique that was used to create this beautiful necklace here. All of these tools and supplies are available at vitaholik.com. And please also subscribe to our YouTube channel for all the latest updates. Thanks for watching.